Hello. Today's devotional can be found in Romans chapter 8, verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Okay. Hope is yearning for the unseen and believing that it will come to pass. Hope is a belief that a better tomorrow is around the corner. Hope keeps people acting in faith and with the sheer willpower that better things will come because even in good times, better things can come. We should not be afraid to give hope a shot. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ were not afraid to give us hope through the atonement. And they weren't afraid to show us through Christ's actions that we are allowed to hope and not be always stuck in despair. Our hope is possible now. We are not stuck in our sins. I don't suppose we had much to hope for while stuck in our sins, but we were given the promise of a better tomorrow and a better eternity, so I suppose we had much to hope for. And it just took a long time for the hope to come to pass. And it still is taking a long time because we're not back with Heavenly Father yet. We have the hope of being with Him someday if we live right. But we're not there yet. But we have all these tools and opportunities to grow that can bring us closer to Him. And we should not be afraid to allow ourselves to grow based on the hope that there is so, more, so much more to life than what we see and there's so much more to our potential than what we see. We must not give up. We must not despair. Hope saves us from despair, even if we just have a little bit. We cannot be afraid. Christ was not afraid to die for us and open up the opportunity for us to hope. What we see may not be a complete picture. Hope gives us that belief and that confidence that there is a greater picture than that which we see. Satan wants our perspectives to be limited to what we see and tries to convince us there is nothing better than what we see. But we shouldn't be afraid to hope for more than that what we see because there is so much beyond what we see and there is so much beyond what we know we can do that it takes the atonement for us to be able to see and do those things for the atonement rids us of the ignorance that keeps us from moving forward in life and in the eternities as long as we don't give up on ourselves Lord will be with us. If we keep going, the Spirit of God will be with us and He will guide us that we might be able to
we might be able to learn and grow. Seeing is limited. Belief is not. We can believe in something before we see it. And if we believe in it enough, the Lord will help us to be able to see it. If we so choose. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.